This is truly a giant haul. Amanda with Eat, Pray, Crunch, and welcome to my channel. I am doing a giant Dollar Tree haul today. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I just did a huge shopping trip at the Dollar Tree because I had a lot of things that I needed to get, so this is truly a giant haul. Let's get started without further ado. So first of all, the main reason I went was because this month is both my daughter and my son's birthday, and I realized the one thing I forgot to bring up here was I got them each a balloon because they wanted a balloon for their birthday. She wanted a green balloon, he wanted a red heart balloon <laughs> specifically. So I got them those things. But in addition, I got my daughter because her birthday comes first. She's turning three and she wanted everything green. This girl is a girl after my own heart. <laughs> My favorite color is green. It always has been. I remember being a very small child and loving the color green, and so does she. So I got her a green placemat and green plates. Since we're having a small little family party, just with the family all going to the children's museum together because that's what she wanted to do. So that's what we're going to do. We're keeping it simple this year. And we also got her this little happy birthday pin, which my son can also wear when it's his birthday four days after hers. And we also got these little party blowouts. Um, I've learned that the Dollar Tree is the absolute best place to get party stuff. By far most affordable. And it's like the same stuff that you get at the party store. Balloons, everything. And it's obviously just a dollar for everything there. It's awesome. So that's it in terms of birthday stuff. Then St. Patrick's Day, since it, their theme is St. Patrick's Day right now. Um, both of my kids wanted to get boas, green boas. So I think Sophie wants to wear these for her birthday as well, since like I said, she wanted to have a green birthday. It's convenient that her birthday happens to be right before St. Patrick's Day because we have all this green stuff. Also got this fun little shamrock headband for her to wear on St. Patrick's Day and she can wear it for her birthday too if she wants to since she wants to wear everything green. <laughs> Sorry you guys my other camera cut out and the memory card was full so I am using my other camera right now so sorry if the sound and visual quality isn't quite as good but that's okay, we will just continue on this camera. I was talking about St. Patrick's Day and I don't have any sort of St. Patrick's Day decor whatsoever. I don't usually go all out for holidays, but I figure, you know, we'll just get one little thing to put in our window, in our dining room window. Just a sparkly, fun little St. Patrick's Day decoration. They had really awesome stuff there too. I was actually pretty surprised by the quality of it. For being the Dollar Tree, there is some pretty good stuff there. They also had Easter decorations, and we do have a fair number of Easter decorations already, so I didn't get very much. But the one thing that I have been doing each holiday is just putting something in our window. So I got that St. Patrick's Day thing to hang in our window, and then I got these little window clings to hang on our window as well. And Sophie picked these out. She said these were the ones that she wanted, so these are the ones that we got. So we'll put these in our window after St. Patrick's Day for when Easter is coming. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I got these little, what do they call these things? Pom-poms, hang, hanging decorations, tissue pom-poms. Um, she wanted green. I forgot to mention that was another birthday decoration we got. Usually when we go to the Dollar Tree, I will get a couple of goodies for the kids because everything is a dollar, why not? <laughs> we got a couple things to add to their art supplies. Um, this is a paint roller. It rolls, you know, these little squiggly lines and hearts. You just, you know, roll it in the paint and then roll it on the paper. And um, I just thought that that would be a fun thing to add to our paint collection. And I got another pair of scissors because we are always just short. One pair of scissors, it seems like all the time. <laughs> so I'm just going to add this pair of scissors in our kitchen since we always need scissors and especially for like kid craft projects, that kind of thing. I get tired of using the little kid scissors. So I wanted to get some for me to use. Also got glue sticks. You guys, Dollar Store is so great for office supply, crafty kind of supplies. I got more kid scissors as well. We have some, but they're like the kind that spring back automatically. And I feel like Alex is ready to start moving toward one step up in his scissoring <laughs> ability. Is that a word, scissoring? I don't know. And also just got some scotch tape because I'm always hanging the kids art projects on the wall and 
need a little tape to do that. Sophie, since it was her birthday coming up, I let her pick out a couple of toys. And this girl is into cars and trucks even more than her brother is. I think it's awesome. She loves baby dolls and she loves trucks, which is really funny because that's exactly how I was when I was a kid too. So she picked out a little fire truck and a little cement mixer. And so I let her get these and we'll just wrap them up and give them to her for her birthday. My son didn't see this, but I also got him a little bouncy ball. He's incredibly into astronomy and every ball in the house has been uh, repurposed as a planet <laughs> in our house. That's what he uses various balls for, his planets, stars, moons, you name it. So I thought this bouncy ball would be a good one for him. It'd be a fun bouncy ball to play with as a bouncy ball too. I tried it and it's like, it's really got some bounce. It's a little bit heavy. It's called a novelty ball. Sophie had had some sunglasses before that she lost or that I lost, somebody <laughs> lost. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to pay like full price for kids sunglasses anymore if I can get them for ultra cheap at the dollar store. So Alex's favorite color is red, so he got red ones, and we got her some white ones. These ones were a little cuter than all the other ones, I thought, so. Got the kids' sunglasses. My daughter's hair is getting longer all the time, and I found that we just needed one more brush for her hair in our spare bathroom, so I got just a regular old brush for brushing her hair. Last but not least, in terms of the goodies, I think we'll give this to our daughter for her birthday as well. She loves bubbles and they had this giant bubble solution. And in the summertime, we are always running out of bubble solution. So I thought, I'm gonna get a jump start on that and have some good bubble solution available <laughs> to maybe use for making giant bubbles in the summer, which we like doing as well. I think I made a tutorial on how to make bubble solution for that. I'll see if I can find that and link it here. <laughs> Three kids now, I'm like, ain't got no time for that anymore. <laughs> I just am gonna buy the Dollar Tree bubble solution. Next thing I got was homeschooling stuff. And you guys have probably seen all my videos recently on how we are going to be officially starting homeschooling with my son starting in the fall when he's in kindergarten. And we are quasi homeschooling for pre-kindergarten now. He goes to pre-kindergarten three days a week and then once or twice a week we homeschool. So I just got some materials for that. I saw that they had magnifying glasses there. Isn't that cool? I don't think I'd ever noticed these there before, but I feel like this is just a great all-purpose tool. Cheap magnifying glasses and they're cheap, so if something happens to them, it doesn't matter because they're cheap. I think this would be fun to take out, like when we go outside and into the woods, that kind of thing. We can look at bugs and rocks and that kind of thing. So I thought these would be great for science. So the next thing I got was uh, spiritual related stuff. We will also include that in our homeschooling, but it's basically a bunch of board books. And so they had this great little selection. They're just a dollar each. So God made friends, God made family. I really like these little prayer books. They're just really simple little kid prayers that we can say all the time. Because, you know, I'm always having trouble coming up with the words to say to pray with little kids. And I just felt like this was a good guide. <laughs> They're just simple little prayers. These are thank you prayers, mealtime prayers, friendship prayers. And I think there was a family one here too somewhere. I don't know where that one went. This one is Parables of the Bible. And it's just like simple, simple board book parables. It just tells one little story on one page and has a picture. The farmer and the seeds, the prodigal son, the lost sheep, and that is it. <laughs> so those are all Bible stories that I'm a fan of. Teaching our kids to live the way Jesus did, I thought that this is just a nice simple way to start introducing that stuff. In terms of the rest of our homeschooling, spring is on its way. I noticed that every time I go to the dollar store they have these little educational wheels where you can like turn it. We got one last time on weather. It tells you about the different, all the different kinds of clouds. This one is about metamorphosis and how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. So it's pretty cool. It shows, um, you know, the different stages. It's like week one, week two, week three, however many weeks it takes. Eggs, larva, caterpillar, pupa, uh, emerging, and adult. So that'll be kind of fun, especially as we actually start seeing 
caterpillars and butterflies in the springtime. That can be like an unschooling thing, almost just going outside and seeing what we see and learning about it. My son is really into, as most of you guys know, astronomy and earth science. So they actually had these writing prompts, which I thought was interesting. It might still be a little beyond his ability level, but you know, within the next year, it, it might be a good thing for him. Um, but it has these cards that talks about different like weather systems and that kind of thing. And it asks questions what to write about related to these topics. And that could be, you know, a way to engage my son's interest, learning how to write sentence structure, because we'll probably start learning how to write a sentence this year with him. So I thought that was useful just because that was right along the lines of his interests. Then I got a number of workbooks and just fun activity books. So I got addition since my son is now learning addition. I got subtraction since he's also learning subtraction. I just thought that these are, you know, good practice. It actually shows little pictures so he can count them. That's helpful just for practice. This year has been learning how to read time. He's pretty much mastered that, but this is more practice. This week actually we have been talking about money and learning different coins, you know, how many cents are in a dollar, that kind of thing, learning how to count money. And so this is another good way to practice that. And then I got a couple things for Sophie as well. You know, she's turning three on her birthday and I wanted to start including her more actively in our homeschooling. I just got her some preschool related stuff. So I got shapes and learning how to write letters. When I'm doing workbooks with Alex, she now has something that she can actually actively do and learn along with us. And then this is just more art. They actually have paint with water there, which is awesome. I've ordered paint with water things off Amazon for much more expensive than these. So I was excited to see that they had these. And it was robots in space, which my son is really into space. And so that's pretty cool. And then my daughter wanted the fairy tales one. So we got the fairy tales one. So I think that they'll really like that. You literally just take a paintbrush and get it wet. And this is basically just like watercolors printed onto the page. And when they put water on it, it spreads around and it's like painting with watercolors. It's pretty cool. So that is it in terms of the homeschooling stuff I got. Last but not least, I just got a couple of home decor and household goods. Well, just one household item. I often get gloves when I go there. I have to wear gloves when I wash the dishes because my skin just gets very, very irritated otherwise if I don't. So I got myself some more rubber gloves. The thing that caught my eye that I was really excited to see was that they had 11 by 14 picture frames. Now granted these are Dollar Tree picture frames so they're kind of cheap but I feel like from a distance you can't really tell. <laughs> and picture frames are always so so darn expensive and so I was really excited. I got four of these because I've been really wanting to put more um, pictures of our family on our walls. We just don't have very many pictures of our family. <laughs> and so I'm going to get some printed and I'm going to put them in these frames. And it's just really nice to not spend like $500 on picture frames. You with me on that one? Oh my goodness. And I got some more. I got two 8x10 picture frames as well. Um, these ones are more silver. Um, I'm planning on putting my son's school picture from this year and I got a picture of all three kids when we did that. I want to start like a little series of their school pictures like going along the hallway. I think that'll be nice every year as they get bigger. You know and I feel like it'll be sustainable for me to continue to get picture frames at the Dollar Tree and do it that way. <laughs> so I am going to start that this year and put pictures of the kids on our hallway wall. So that is it. That is my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe got some ideas for yourselves and I hope that was helpful and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.